We're videoing. G'day. Say g'day, Alan. What a morning. This is freakish. How long do you reckon from the box to here, Alan? 15 minutes. 15 minutes. To the, to the 50. Quite remarkable. It is a lake. And it was windy and closer. Not windy, like five knots of wind. Just enough to put a little ripple on the water. Then we've got out here. I think I've got a bite then. Um, we get out here and then it's even more calm than what it is in there. Wow. Well, I thought last time was the most calm I've seen it, but this probably takes the cake. For the last five years, this will be the calmest morning. And of course, the forecast got it wrong. Oh, go out! Oh, you missed it! <laughs> and that's on film! <laughs> There's a bite. Something small. Yeah. The small floodies. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just getting little touches now. One of them is flooded. Could be those little whiting. Oh, jeez. <laughs> We need to get a fish on board. That entitles us to have one of those Canadian clubs that you bought. First keeper. Yeah, I think I am as well. I feel like I've still got the squid on. Yeah, I've put two pieces of pilly. So yeah, you'll be lo you'll be baited for sure. Yeah, I'm on. There's nothing to write home about. <clears throat> oh, you got one. Doing what you did. Yeah, <laughs> did you go to your guides? I got distracted by you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think this one might be a throwback, but we'll soon see. <laughs> Oh no, it's alright. Yeah, yeah. It's only just hooked. There's a bit of a change in procedure. The esky's here. Possibly being a little bit bullish and overconfident. But... Oh, I just hooked him in the arsehole. As he fell off the hook there. Might even move the bait to the other. Yeah. But anyway, let's see how we go. All right, well that's it. That's the first one in. And they were biting on the squid too, Al. Okay. So I'd recommend I'll cut up some strips so that we've got you've got a bit of insurance bait on there. Building knife, I should use. Shitty old rusty knife. Well, t shirt weather as well. It, what, not even six, it'll be six o'clock, you reckon? If that? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Nice. Yeah. Oh, I've got a third hook here. <laughs> That's what I made up the other day. Might as well put some bait on it. Touches. 
see. Maybe the what is the pillars? Maybe it's uh, just about that. Ah, uh, well, we're drifting out. Mm. We're drifting to the east. Yeah. What are we in? It says forty-one point seven. That's not right. Let me have a, I have to have a look at that transducer. Last time it, it kicked up. And uh, looks flat enough. According to the sounder we're in fifty. Ah, uh, it's just faded out again. Yeah, I think. Well, we're in fifty. Here comes a little bit of breeze. That's good, that'll push us along a bit. Might have to up the weight slightly with three baits. That's on the bottom. Yeah, you want to have a little, just a little bit on there. Yeah. Here's a bite. Oh. Yeah, I'm a Oh, you got a, a slimy! I did, what did I say on the way out here? I think I just lost my fish, by the way. Which I, the, the bite. Oh, don't let that go. No, no, no. <laughs> just chuck him in the esky, man. Yeah, I'll... It's interesting it took the top bait. Yeah. Usually for flatties, but you got to remember those slimies are all through the water column. Yeah. Slimies are on already. So if we see any bird activity, yep. we might go for a little troll later. If we, especially if we. Is it tuna action? Could be. You never know. Wherever there's slimy mackerel. Yep. So. For the sake of the video, on the way out here, there was fl flocks of, or probably some of them were 50 odd birds just sitting there on the on the water. They weren't hunting or anything, but they're sitting out here for a reason. And I said to Alan, I reckon the slimies might be in. And lo and behold, there's a there's a slimy, and don't be afraid to use that slimy. We might save it for, yep. but uh, they're good for flatties too, and they're a bit more. Hardy. And speaking yeah. of the devil, there's a little, there's some birds yep. out there. Come okay, on the bottom. Bite straight away. Better, a bit better than the other one. Oh no, you've been... That's all we need is a leather jacket to come in and yeah. spoil the show. This will be interesting. Was it my knot or was it a leather jacket? I think the whole... The whole rig. Okay, I'll get you another one out. Aha! Yeah, uh -huh. All right. That is why mm -hmm. I do this. What do you reckon? A jacket. Floor in the line, or do you think? Nah, leather jacket. For sure. Okay. All right. Thank you. No worries. That was smaller than the last one. That. Flatty, even though I called it for bigger. And you're done there, mate. I 
Yeah, same sort of thing, or do you want to go heavier? No, it's fine what I have, yeah. Getting bites? Did <coughs> then it just wasn't quick enough. <laughs> yeah, me me too. Could be a little one on there. Yeah, there's a little one on there. Same before when I got the um, the slimy. Yeah. It's got off. Getting out the line twist. Well, you, with slimies, yes, definitely. Because they'll be holding in the water column. Yeah. Now, the other thing I'll do while I'm here. Catch a few fish today. And I saved a bait.
And I'll eat those slobbies anyway. Yeah. Anything with gills and guts and fins. Anything with a tile. <laughs> Quiet this morning. For now, something interesting might happen later. It'll happen like in 30 seconds. Foster. Oh, get fucked. Yeah, Tony, I've got to take my Donald Trump hat off temporarily. Sorry, Donald. My hero. But my other hero, Alan Middlemiss, <laughs> he's onto a fish. Either that or it's a Japanese midget submarine. Well, it could be. Could be. Chinese. Yeah, just ease it in, mate. Yeah. That's uh, that's a decent fish. So in the last half an hour, my company's won an eight million dollar contract. Well, almost won. One, we'll say one. It's as good as one. Ah, uh, we're going to need a gaff, I think, which is always a good sign. Oh, look, there's one on here, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I hate fishing. I reckon you've got a stingray, Alan. Yeah. <laughs> trying to, I'll, I'll spin the video around. <laughs> now, for those that don't know, Alan broke his leg in about 647 places a couple of years, a couple of years ago. Two years and two weeks ago. Two years and two weeks ago. So he's only just sort of able to stand up on the boat again now. No one gives a f who's watching this video is going to have a fuck about my fish. They all want to see what you've got. This is a bottom dwelling something, but it's the back killer. Yeah, well that's all right. So, people watching the video, I'm trying to do two things at once here, which I'm not very good at. You'll probably get this fish plus another fish, possibly another fish before I get this one. Well, that's possible. Oh, boy. I have a reasonable flatty. It's been hooked in the gills, so they feel a lot bigger than what they are. And it has engulfed the hook too. So I'm just going to chuck it in here. And focus on what Alan's doing now. Just make sure there's no water on the lens. Alright, now the gun is over here. Can I have a go for a minute? Yeah, if you want me to. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, no it. worries, mate. Fuck, that's heavy. I don't want to give it too much. Mm. My work phone's ringing. It's coming up slow. Yeah. I'm just not going to put my finger on that spool. Mm.
as much as I'm tempted to do so. Get some colour. Stingray. Is it a stingray? Pretty sure it is. You got the, it's the underside of the. It looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. It's looking very rayish. I'm wondering what that was banging over there. It's my sinker that I've just left. There's flies out here today. Yeah, we might have to do a bit of uh, line cutting depending on. Yeah. Do you want to do the rest? Sure. Yep. What the hell is this? It's a shark. Or a wobbygong, I think. Is it a gong? What would a wobbygong be doing out here? What self respecting wobbygong would be out here? Or Jackson actually. Yeah. Fucking Jackson. PJ. Yeah. I have never in 20 years of fishing in this spot caught a PJ. <laughs> and it's hooked under the gill. I might be able to get it off, you know. It's going to go spaz here in a second, by the way. Yeah, it's just hooked on his gill. Yeah, I'll give everyone at home a look. Oh, no, I think it's, is that one in his mouth? No, it's just, no, just whipped under the gill. Rightio. That's a poor Jackson shark, laziest fish in the world. I'm just going to release it. Stuff. Well, that was a bit of excitement, Alan. I'm going to leave you to one finger left. Thanks, mate. Put the gaff away. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, a couple of minutes there, it looked like it was going to be a nice big feed for yep. quite a few people. Yeah, well, anyway, We're such is life. Enough anyway, so. That's it. I'm just going to get this flathead released. It yeah, released. Released into the esky where they belong. Woo! And the squid is doing the job today. Yep. Lucky I bought. A whole bag of squid. All right, this one's going to go down again. Now what I do, I just because I'm fishing two rods, I just sort of flop one out the side a bit, and that wind swung around, Alan. Where's she coming from now? More from the west. More from the southwest. Yeah. Northwest earlier on. Yep. That's still got the same bait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I don't think I'm even going to worry about pilchard anymore. I'm just going to let that down. That one's on the bottom. Um, isn't that weird? We just, oh, I think the fish has pulled us around. <laughs> and now I'm just going to take a bit for the wind. I'm going to keep this one in. Yeah, when I saw the silver bit, I thought it was a ray upside down. Yeah. But it was a, a lighter sort of Port Jackson. The ones yeah. that are closer tend to be a bit darker. Yeah. Yep. On the wheel, on the kelp bit. One on here too. 